Chiang Mai International Airport is an international airport serving Chiang Mai, the capital city of Chiang Mai Province in Thailand. It is a major gateway to northern Thailand, and currently the fourth busiest airport in the country. The airport mainly serves destinations across Southeast Asia. The airport has two conjoined terminal buildings, each dedicated to international and domestic arrivals and departures. The arrival halls of both buildings are found on the ground floor while the second floor is designated for all departures. Mictan Cebu International Airport is the second busiest international airport in the Philippines. It is located in the city of Lapu-Lapu on Mictan, a part of Metro Cebu and serves the central Visayas region. There are two main terminal buildings, Terminal 1, which was built in 1990, serves as the airport's domestic terminal. Prior to the completion and opening of Terminal 2, Terminal 2, which started construction in 2016 and opened for operations on July 1, 2018, is the newest airport terminal and has increased the capacity of the airport to 12.5 million passengers per year. It currently handles all international flights. Da Nang International Airport is located in Da Nang the largest city in central Vietnam. It is the third international airport in the country, besides Noi Bay International Airport and Tan Son Diet International Airport, and is an important gateway to access central Vietnam. The 20,000 square meters Terminal 1, costing 84 million US dollars with a capacity of 4 million passengers per year, opened to receive its first domestic flight on December 15, 2011. A new international terminal 2, covering 48,000 square meters, with a total investment sum of 154 million US dollars and a design capacity of 6 million passenger per year was put into use on May 5, 2017. Sultan Hussan Uddin International Airport is an international airport in Makassar, South Sulawesi. It is located 20 kilometers northeast of Makassar's city center. The current terminal was opened on August 20, 2008. The airport is the main gateway for flights to the eastern part of Indonesia, and named after Sultan Husan Uddin, a Sultan of Goa, who fought against the Dutch East India Company in the 1660s. The expansion of the terminal is currently under construction and expected to be finished in mid-2021. The terminal will be three times bigger and can accommodate around 15 million passengers. Couple more aero bridges will be added for both domestic and international flight. Phuket International Airport is an international airport serving the Phuket province of Thailand. The airport plays a major role in Thailand's tourism industry, as Phuket Island is a popular resort destination. It is the third busiest airport in Thailand in terms of passengers, after Savarnabhumi Airport and Donmuan International Airport in the Bangkok metropolitan region. The airport has three terminals, Terminal 2 is used for international flights, and Terminal 3 for domestic flights. Terminal X for charter flights opened in February 2014. Phuket Airport underwent a 5.14 billion baht expansion and renovation, with the work completed in 2016. Kwanda International Airport, is an international airport located in Sedati, Sidwarjo. It is now the third busiest airport in Indonesia. This airport is located approximately 12 kilometers from downtown Surabaya and serves the Surabaya metropolitan area including extended urban area. At present, Kwanda International Airport has two terminals. Terminal 1 is used for all domestic flights, except for the Indonesian carrier's flights. Terminal 2 was built by demolishing the old terminal building. Terminal 2 is used for all international flights, and used by the Indonesian carriers as domestic and international flights. Ngurarai International Airport, 
officially known as Agustin Gurari International Airport, is the main airport in Bali, located 13 km south of Denpasar. Ngurari is the second busiest airport in Indonesia after Sikarno Hatta International Airport. The international terminal has a Balinese architectural theme and has separate departure and arrival halls. By 1975 the anticipated rise in passenger volumes was already overburdening the older terminal and works were commenced on a new international passenger terminal, with completion in 1978. The old international terminal was then converted into the now domestic terminal and the old domestic terminal was converted to use as the cargo and catering facilities building. Hanoi Bai International Airport in Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam, is the largest airport in Vietnam in terms of total capacity. It is also the largest airport in the country for cargo transport and the second busiest airport for passenger traffic, after Tan Son Nhat International Airport. It is currently the main airport serving Hanoi, replacing the role of Gia Lam Airport. The airport consists of two passenger terminals. Terminal 1 serves domestic flights, and the newly built Terminal 2 serves all international flights to and from Hanoi. Tan Son Nhat International Airport is the busiest airport in Vietnam. It serves Ho Chi Minh City as well as the rest of southeastern Vietnam. Tan Son Nhat International Airport operates from two terminal buildings, Domestic Terminal 1 and International Terminal 2. The new international terminal opened in September 2007 with a capacity of 8 to 10 million passengers per year, giving the airport a total capacity of 15 to 17 million passengers per year. Because Long Tan will not be ready for service until at least 2025, Tan Son Yet must expand to meet the increasing demand. Vietnam's Deputy Prime Minister Trinh Dinh Dung agreed to proceed a 860 million US dollars upgrade proposal for final review before submitting to the government. Under the chosen proposal, there would be a new mixed-use Terminal 3 and a civil-use Terminal 4. The estimated time to complete the upgrade would be three years and the airport would then have a capacity of 43 to 45 million passengers annually. Don Muon International Airport is one of two airports serving the Bangkok metropolitan region, the other one being Savarnabhumi Airport. Before Savarnabhumi opened in 2006, Don Muon was previously known as Bangkok International Airport. In September 2006, Don Muon Airport was closed and replaced by the newly opened Savarnabhumi Airport, before reopening on March 24, 2007 after renovations. Since the opening of the new airport, it has become a regional commuter flight hub and the de facto low-cost airline hub. In 2015, it became the world's largest low-cost carrier airport. Don Muon International Airport has three terminals. Terminal 1 is used for international flights and Terminal 2 for domestic flights. Terminal 3, the old domestic terminal, is not in use anymore. In a third phase of airport expansion, a new Terminal 3 is in the planning stages as of 2019, with construction projected to begin sometime between 2020 to 2025. Ninoy Aquino International Airport formerly known and still commonly referred to as Manila International Airport, is the airport serving Manila and its surrounding metropolitan area. Naya has four terminal, Terminal 1 having been completed in 1981 is the second oldest terminal. The terminal currently serves foreign carriers operating in Manila. Terminal 2, also known as the Centennial Terminal, it has been named the Centennial Terminal in commemoration of the centennial year of the Declaration of Philippine Independence it serves domestic and international flights. Terminal 3 is the newest and largest terminal in the Naya complex. The terminal is capable of servicing 33,000 passengers daily at peak or 6,000 passengers per hour. Terminal 4 named as Manila Domestic Passenger Terminal is the oldest of the four existing terminals, having been built in 1948. Kuala Lumpur International Airport is Malaysia's main international airport and the primary airport serving the Greater Klang Valley conurbation. The airport is part of the Kliaeropolis, 
and is made up of two main terminals, the original terminal, Clea Main and the new Terminal 2, also known as Clea 2. Clea 2 is the largest purpose-built terminal optimized for low-cost carriers in response to the exponential growth of low-cost travel in the region. Satellite Terminal A accommodates international flights departing and arriving at Clea. Passengers have to travel to the satellite building via the aero train. KL City Air Terminal, or KL CAT located at KL Central is a virtual extension of KL International Airport where city check-in services are provided. Savarnabhumi Airport, also known unofficially as Bangkok Airport, is one of two international airports serving Bangkok, Thailand. Suvarnabhumi Airport covers an area of 3,240 hectares, making it one of the biggest international airports in Southeast Asia and a regional hub for aviation. By mid-2015, the airport was handling more than 800 flights per day, higher than its 600 flight capacity. It has exceeded its capacity of 45 million passengers per year. Airports of Thailand approved an investment budget for the expansion of Suvarnabhumi Airport and construction began in late 2016 and will be finished in 2021 or early 2022. The plan was to strengthen Suvarnabhumi Airport's position as a regional aviation hub. Singapore Changi Airport, commonly known as Changi Airport, is a major civilian airport that serves Singapore. It is one of the largest transportation hubs in Asia and one of the world's busiest airports by international passenger and cargo traffic. It is currently rated the world's best airport by Skytrax, the first airport in the world to do so for eight consecutive years. Changi Airport has five main passenger terminals arranged in an elongated inverted U-shape with jewel in the center of the U-shape. Currently, the airport has a design total annual handling capacity of 85 million passengers. Sikharno Hatta International Airport, abbreviated Shia or Soeta, formerly legally called Jakarta Sankara Airport, is the primary airport serving the Jakarta metropolitan area in Indonesia. There are three main terminal buildings. Terminal 1 caters to domestic low-cost carriers, while Terminal 2 caters to international low-cost carriers. Terminal 3 will become a full-service terminal for both domestic and international flights. The planned Terminal 4 is expected to be operational by 2024 and will be able to serve 45 million passengers annually.